I'm here today because I made a promise to my husband one year ago as he was dying to share his, the final part of his story and to keep fighting to protect terminal patients. JJ was a volunteer fireman and he served New York State under Governors Spitzer and Patterson. Then after he was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer, he dedicated his final days to fighting the legalization of assisted suicide because we saw firsthand how dangerous it is. In 2014, after a seizure sent JJ to the hospital, we were told that he had the deadliest form of brain cancer and he only had four months left to live. Three different doctors told us that there was nothing that we could do. Thankfully, we didn't listen and JJ had great success with treatment. He outlived his grim prognosis by over four years. During that time, our son created so many priceless memories with him and we welcomed a second son into the world. But if this legislation had been legal at the time JJ was diagnosed, he could have had the lethal medication on his nightstand when he was struggling physically and emotionally in the fifth month of treatment and he questioned if life was worth living. Am I too much of a burden on my family? Would it be easier for everyone if I just gave up? He thought about it and he considered it. Thankfully, JJ didn't end his life, but if assisted suicide pills had been with him in those darkest moments, he might have taken them. And you can't undo that. You can't unmake that choice. These laws abandon vulnerable patients like JJ who can experience periods of depression at any point following their diagnosis. Once patients receive the lethal prescription, they're on their own. But as a caregiver, my greatest fear is that when assisted suicide becomes a medical treatment, it injects governmental pressure and profit-driven insurance decisions into everyone's end-of-life care. You cannot focus on the individual patient when you look at this legislation. We should be focusing on improving multidisciplinary end-of-life care, not assisted suicide.